fun-filled Friday, everyone. Oh, my goodness. I believe I got my Facebook Live to work again. Okay, if you are on Facebook, give us a shout out. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Sylvia, you're here. I'm going to share your email with everyone. You all, Sylvia is uh, in recovery, and a lot of you have been sending her thank you, or um, get well cards and encouragement cards, and she has been loving them. Hello, Kelly and Patty. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Michelle. You all... Happy, happy Friday. All right. So today's card, Funfold Friday, I'm going to tell you that you can make any card into a Funfold card. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, but before that, uh, for those of you who have just found me for the first time, uh, first of all, say hello. We'd love to, to say hello back to you. And my name's Christina Reese, as you can see down in the corner. Uh, this is Creating with Christina. And I come live on Wednesdays and Fridays. Monday's videos are pre-recorded now. Uh, Wednesdays are card challenges and Fridays are fun fold Friday. So welcome. All right. Um, let's go on and switch over to, whoops, get my notes out of the way. I want to give a shout out, not only to Sylvia, but also to Stephanie McKnight. You all, she made my husband and I an anniversary card. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Stephanie. And if y'all haven't noticed back, um, Oh, you can't see me. Hold on. Let me switch. Yeah. Yeah. If you notice behind me, well, you can't see in the little thing, but I've been uh, taping your cards up on my uh, closet door back there so I can enjoy them all the time. All right. I want to read this real quick to you. This is from Sylvia to all of you. She says, um, I received several beautiful cards from our crafting family and, um, the cards are really brightening her days. She is putting them on display and her bulletin board there in her room and the staff members are loving them. Um, even has a couple of patients coming in looking at them. So thank you all so much. She's going to be there for a, another couple of weeks, I do believe, Sylvia. Is that correct? You can put it in the comments. And um, you all, and if you haven't gotten the address from me and you would like to send Sylvia a get well card, uh, encouragement card, I private message me. I will send you her, um, her address, private message. Okay. Or email. All right. Let's get on with today's lesson. So I was creating, oops, where did my cards go? Here they are. Oops. I was creating some cards some thank you cards for, um, my host code people. All right. See up here in the host code, when you, uh, spend $50 and put the host code in before checkout, um, that comes up on my report and I send you a thank you gift. And I always try to include a card in there. And so I'm making cards for my July codes and I was uh, creating it. I thought, you know what? We could make this into a fun fold. So here's the original card. It's not quite finished. Um, and I'm putting the cute little uh, Elephant from Elephant Parades. If you all haven't seen this stamp set, oh heavens, you've got to get it. It is so cute. Um, and it can be not just, okay, so it originally is like for baby cards, but I've seen this for friendship cards and birthday cards and just every kind, get well cards. I mean, the elephants are just so precious. You just can use it for anything. So this was my original card. And I thought, you know what? Let's pull, let's make this a fun fold. So the way you do this, this is so easy. First of all, you need your card base. Okay, so where's my card base? Here's my card base. All right. And instead of just folding it in half like regular, okay, so we're folding it in half here, let's turn it into a fun fold by folding the front back in half. Have you, you all, this is the easiest of all, well, I don't know if it's the easiest of all fun folds, but it is one of the easiest because I know the collar fold and the corner flap fold are easy also, but this is called the Z fold. Now it's backwards. If you do it this way, it actually is a Z. Okay. So, uh, and I also was making the card. I had put my DSP on this side because I, I don't know, I had this thing for putting the little elephant over here on the right and having the sentiment come out here on the left. And I thought, well, uh, how am I going to do that if my Z fold is this way? Well, I mean, I can mirror image it. That would not be a problem. But I thought, no, let's just turn it over. Okay, so we're turning it over. We're making our Z fold this way. Okay, and now let's get the paper out. So my first thing is um, this DSP. If y'all haven't seen it, 
Uh, this DSP comes from, dun, da, da, da. oh my goodness, that was so much, the back of the catalog, all right? So this is our holiday catalog, the very back page. This is called the host page, okay? And there are two items that you can only get if you are a host. Now, how do you become a host? Well, one, you get some friends together and you all combine your orders and you use a host code or you put in an order of 150 or more. When you hit 150, you become your own host and you are eligible to purchase either, either of these or both of these, uh, depending on how many reward points you get. And that's all written down here in the corner, um, how the host rewards work. But this is where I got this paper from. And it is 48 12 by 12 sheets. Usually a pack of 12 by 12 is only 12 sheets. This is 48 12 by 12s and is only $18 when you spend 150 or more. And it is the cutest paper. Let me show you this paper. OMG, it is so beautiful. Um, hold on. <laughs> I haven't even cut it up yet. It's still 12 by 12. So this is it. Wow. You get all of this for $18 when you purchase 150 and and it's called celebrate everything it's got all the seasons like this is christmas i saw some cute pumpkins oh there's some christmas ornaments there's some halloween stars there they are the pumpkins there were some leaves for fall so cute so cute um oh and it's also celebration so if you spend 150 you get three 50 dollars celebration items or a $100 item and a $50 item. Anyways, let's get back to our card. So here's, that's where this paper came from. That's how I got off on that tangent. Where is my paper trimmer? I had it right here. Oh, paper trimmer. There it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Whew, too many things on my desk here. All right. So now if I cut my paper like this one at four by five and a half or four by five and a quarter, um, it's, I, I have, it's, it needs to be cut up now because it's a fun fold. So that's no problem. What we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler. Where did my ruler go? Oh. We're going to take our ruler and let's measure this real quick. So this is two and an eighth across. So to make my designer paper at a quarter, I mean, at an eighth of a inch all the way around, I want one and seven eighths. All right, so come in here at one and seven eighths. There we go. And then zip that off. And then it's still five and a quarter, though. That part hadn't changed. So, all right, so we have our first piece, and that's going to go right there. Okay, so let me get my tape. I'll go ahead and put that on there. Then the other side. There we go. Now you can't, you have two choices. You can make all of this designer paper in here, or if you want more writing space, because these two sections are hidden when it's closed, you can make this part white and this part white. And then that you'd only want a little bit of DSP here. So let's go ahead and take our DSP and, um, we cut off one and seven eighths. So um, if it was originally four and I cut off one and seven eighths right there, that is at two and an eighth <laughs> to try not to do math in my head um, and then make it five and a quarter. All right. So actually, I didn't have to do this in two steps. What I could have done is cut it out at four by five and a quarter, which would have been the original piece for the card, because this the title of today's lesson is taking any card and turning it into a fun fold. Um, I would have just cut it right there. And then this piece just goes right here. So I kind of got ahead of myself by cutting it uh, in half first. But that's OK. We got the idea. All right, so this piece is just going to go right here. Now, got that. Let's put it in there. Okay, so now we have this part. 
For this piece in here, we are going to have to measure. This is our white piece. And each of these uh, will be, see if that's two inches across and I need, so I'm going to make that one and seven eighths. I don't necessarily need an eighth of an inch on both sides, but I do need it to separate a little bit so that the fold will work. So that's two inches there. And this is two and an eighth on this side. So I'll cut one at two and one at one and seven eighths. So we'll get some white paper out for that. All right. Oops, my. There we go. And of course, you all, I always forget to tell you, and don't forget, do, 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 where's my banner thing? Measurements are always on creatingwithchristina.com on Fridays. All right. They're not there yet, but they will be. All right. So I have a two inch and a one and seven eighths. There we go. And of course, both of these need to be cut down to five and a quarter. And five and a quarter. All right. So this is my inside piece. Ready? Double check, make sure I put them in the right spots. Nope, this one goes on the side. There we go. All right, where's my tape? And you may want to stamp it before you put it in here. So just in case you mess up, you can uh, turn it over or start over, however, whatever you're doing. But And then I am just making that even between the blue and the fold. Okay. And then this side, same thing. Whoops, Oops. sticky, sticky. There we go. All right. Okay. And now when you fold it, you have white to write on. Okay. So that part's done. So remember, this was the original card here. All right. And now we're making it into a fun fold. So I need some designer paper here. Let me find my designer paper. Now, this designer paper is from the uh, teacup, the tea boutique. I liked the greenery in there with this blue here. Uh, but you go for, obviously, you can use anything you want. But I do want it to uh, show that blue to show. So let me uh, get my ruler out again, make sure I measure this correctly. What's the saying? Measure twice. Cut once. <laughs> All right. So the blue piece is one and seven eighths. So this one should be one and let's see. One and a half, one and a quarter. Yeah. One and a quarter. Okay. Wait a minute. One and seven eighths. Back it up. One and three quarters. Whew. Oh, I would have made a mistake. Don't want to. And this, my, I'm running out of this tea boutique, so I don't want to make any more mistakes. Okay. And so we have taken a regular card, any card you want. And instead of just making it a regular card, go ahead and fold the flap. Whoops. You know what? Not five and a quarter. It needs to be five. Fold it over so it makes a Z fold. So you can make any card a fun fold. <laughs> any card can be a fun fold. Yay! There we go. All right. So now, oh, come here. So now it looks, whoops, it goes like this. All right. So like I said, this was the original card. All right. And this is now my fun fold. And the reason I made my fun fold go the other direction, usually fun folds go this, usually Z folds go this way. But because I had put the DSP on this side, I wanted my DSP to be on this side. So I just turned it upside down. And it actually makes for a little different. You know, not all Z folds go this way. So I like the, the, that that's different also. I want to go ahead and finish this card with my cute baby elephant. So I looked at the colors in my paper and it's got the 
fresh freesia. So I just took my decorative circle punch and then uh, I stamped my cute little elephant. Isn't he precious? I'm going to pull this up so you can see my coloring real quick. So all I did is I took the dark gray granite and kind of went around the outside, around the wrinkles down on the bottom. And then I took the light gray granite and I colored the whole elephant in and it just kind of blended. And then I took some uh, petal pink for his ears and some black for the tips of his little uh, hooves, his little paws. <laughs> and that is, oh, and then I forgot, I also took pool party and I went around the edge. I like doing that because it kind of makes the, elef the, the image poke out a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and put these together. Oh, I can't see your comments. Hold on. And also, don't forget, if you ever have a question, I'm scrolling through comments real quick. Put a Q so that I can see the Q as I go through this real quick. Okay. No, no questions yet. Awesome. Everybody's loving the card. So cute. Oh, you can see where I messed up on the back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we just center that. And then I have... Um, a little half inch strip. What a happy day. And then this is this is from the butterfly paper here. It's that fresh freesia polka dot. Okay, whoops, wait a minute. Those angles are going different. Oh, I remember. I was going to redo this because when I stamped it, I actually got the edge of the stamp. Oh, can y'all see that? I know it's very little. It's Try not to be a perfectionist, but if I can, I can just turn it over. There we go. And let's stamp it again. So I've got that and my ink pad. There we go. And. Oh, much better. Okay. And now put some tape on the back of there. that on there. Oh, I don't even need that much. I'm going to cut that down. There we go. Oh yeah. So cute. And then we're going to just put it right there. So let me get a wee bit of glue. And then I'll secure it with dimensionals. There we go. And I put the dimensional right over both the circle, the decorative circle and the strip, the sentiment strip. That way um, it stays secure. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I got to remember I'm on a Z fold. So that may, yeah, that goes over the edge. So you don't want to put one there. Whoops. I shouldn't have put one that close. Ah, okay, hold on. Well, okay. One way to keep this from, just don't take the backing off of that one and it won't, it won't attach. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I'm just going to put that one there. Actually, no. You know what? We have a tool that will take that off because if that backing ever came off, it would permanently keep it shut and we don't want that. So just take the little spatula side and there we go. Now it's off. Yay. <laughs> Don't you love these tips that come about because of my mistakes? All right. And we are done. Okay. So there we go. And then let me show you the original. Oh, I never put the elephant on the original. Okay. Well, here was the original card base. And I just turned it into a fun fold. I hope you all enjoyed today's um Fun fold. And like I said, all of the measurements are over on my blog. Um, Y'all have a blessed weekend and I will see you on Wednesday for Card Challenge Wednesday. Oh, and also don't forget newsletter. Today I'm sending out a newsletter that has all three videos on it. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesdays and today's videos on it. So because I know a lot of people couldn't find the Facebook stuff. It was so crazy. Um, but I think I finally got my Facebook to, to, to work out. Cause I see Tony here and joy here. Y'all are on Facebook. It says, and Rachel's on Facebook. So awesome. Very good. Cindy's on Facebook, Donna. All right. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Love y'all so much. Bye-bye.